All right. Sean, do you know what this guy is saying? Yeah, I do. This is the deluxe bonus disc. And uh, I haven't studied it as much as the other ones, but I like this song a lot. And it rem makes me remember a time in my life when I was walking down a sidewalk with a group of older kids. And we were throwing, blatantly throwing snowballs at cars. It just kind of came... Fuck. I just... We were throwing snowballs at cars, and I was tagged by the retired policeman. He didn't go after anybody older or anybody bigger. He went after the smallest guy and basically told me I was going to go to jail if I threw any other snowballs at cars. I didn't even know it was wrong. That's how innocent I was at six years old. But he decided the punishment and uh, kind of wailed on me as an authority figure. And since then, we, we grew and we learned to throw different things at cars. Uh, eggs. Uh, apples, tomatoes. I remember driving down the road past my buddy Mike Brown's house and I was peppered with rotten tomatoes. And I thought, there's only one guy. <laughs> there's only one guy who's doing this. And they went to the neighbor's garden and got the, the tomatoes that uh, weren't good to eat and just were throwing them at everything, I guess. Yeah, I was corrupted a lot. Uh, by Mike Brown. I remember going into a grocery store and Mike simply tied his pant, the bottom of his pant leg with one of his shoe legs and went in and boldly shoved a bottle of Boone's Farm and the bottle of Boone's Farm isn't around, uh, Mogan David, and he shoved that into his pants and it stopped down by his foot. We walked out, sat behind an apartment complex and drank this god-awful wine, but it was probably one of my first experiences that was uh, positive with alcohol and the whole thrill of it all. So, <laughs> maybe this is a good story to tell with this song. I often remember what would happen to me if I stayed with Jim Grabner, John Hogan, and Mike Brown. Um, we moved. We moved after the ninth grade and my girlfriend Barbie Brown started sobbing instantly on the phone when I told her and I thought, wow, this is kind of cool. But uh, no, it wasn't kind of cool. But if I stayed in that atmosphere, you know, who knows? Who knows what would have happened? I could have gone down their road, they were dropping acid and, you know, just getting money and uh, new life, new life in the 10th grade and said goodbye to all those negative forces.